Hi Pisces, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are your person's current feelings for you? What are your person's current feelings for you? So whoever it is that you're connecting to in love, whoever it is that you're dealing with in love, just think about that person right now and let's see what are this person's current feelings for you. All right, so let's get started. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. All right, Spirit, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Pisces. All right, Pisces, first card here is the devil upright. The knight of swords upright. The fool up uh, in reverse. And the sun upright. Okay. Might be dealing with a might be dealing with a Capricorn, Leo, and Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Could be any sign though. Okay, now in terms of this person's current feelings. So this person might be a little bit obsessed with you, I feel, Pisces. With the devil and the knight of swords energy here. And I feel like this person wants to return back to you with the fool in reverse. And with the sun, I feel like this person is um, is trying to win you back. Like, win your heart over. Um, yeah, I feel like this person is obsessed with winning you back. They might have lost you and they want to recover you. Again, I feel like they're obsessed with the devil here. And I feel like they're not going to accept a no for an answer. It's like it's either yes or yes, you know. All right, we'll clarify that in a little bit. Let's see what are your feelings for this person. Spirit, what are Pisces' feelings for this person? Current feelings, please. We have the death card. Some of you might be saying no. The death card is about endings. Sorry guys, I'm a little bit congested. congested. I um, have a little bit of allergy right now. Four of Wands. The Emperor. And the Tower. Oh my god. So many major arcanas here. So very strong, intense energy with the Emperor and the Tower card. So I feel like you are being rebellious, right? I feel like you're fighting against them. You know, they're trying to kind of force you into um, reconsidering them and... Uh, Reconciling with them. Or they're just, you know, they're trying to force you to to be with them, you know. And I feel like you're, you're saying, no, it's over with the death card. 
and with the emperor and the tower like um you know you had your chance and um it's it's done with the tower car there's no way to save this anymore like the damage has been done and it's not it's not something that can be fixed you know and the emperor is is an energy of someone who who doesn't budge you know who who sticks to what they decide so um, I feel like you've made a decision and it's like you're not going to be persuaded. Um, and I feel like this person is trying to persuade you. They're trying to convince you here. Um, because they're obsessed with you, I feel. But uh, I feel like you're putting an ending to this relationship with the four of wands. Um, this could be a divorce for some of you. Um... Yeah, and I feel like you're okay with that, you know, you're okay with putting an ending to this. I think you've already um, come to terms with with what needs to happen, you know. The emperor, when he makes a decision, he's confident about the decision he's making. So I feel like you're confident about um, what you've decided here. And I feel like you're not going to, you're not going to backtrack, you know. You're not going to go back. You're you're sticking to what to what you know is right, to what you believe, and to um, what you desire and what you want. Uh, and I I feel like what you want is to move forward and to to end something and um, to leave something behind and uh, rebuild your life in a different way. Um, this tower is already. It's lost its foundation. It's lost its stability. So you're ready to, you know, create a new foundation. All right, let me just clarify a little bit here. Let's clarify the devil. Spirit, clarify the devil, please. Thank you. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, this person is a little cocky or a little arrogant for some of you. Um, they all, they're all they also confident that they can make you change your mind. Clarify Knight of Swords. We have here the Hierophant in reverse. So for some of you, this is someone who didn't commit or... Um, yeah, they wanted to be with you, but they didn't want to commit themselves to you, you know. And that's what maybe caused the the ending of this relationship. It's it's the fact that they wanted to be, you know, in and out. They were or they wanted to be back and forth here. Um or they were going back and forth. They were they weren't, you know, being committed to you. Clarify the fool in reverse. Yeah, we have six of cups in reverse, so they, um, yeah, they miss you, they feel like they love you, they feel like they want you back. Clarify the sun. Ace of cups, they want to offer you a, a new beginning in love here. Um, they might be making you promises here, this can be a, a new promise that they're making to you. Um, I don't know how new it is. It's possible that they've already made this promise before. But they're making it seem like it's new, you know. Because I feel like... I feel like maybe this you're dealing with someone who's a little bit immature. Um, and you are the mature one here with the Emperor. So you already know, um, you know, their, their games, you know. Because I feel like for some of you, this person is playing games with you. Okay, clarify here the, um, uh, not the, uh, yeah, the emperor, the emperor. <laughs> we have six of swords, so you're walking away. Clarify the tower. Yeah, the eight of pentacles in reverse. You no longer want to invest any more of your time and energy into this. Um, you've done all you can do and um, you feel like it's time to you know, surrender, to give up, and to move on. All right, Pisces, so that's what I see. Let me know if this resonated. If it did resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Pisces. Take care.